was if I see about 79, I'm here with BB-8, and I finally finished watching the Star Wars films for Star Wars Day, I decided to watch all of them, and I just watched The Rise of Skywalker, and it's a lot better than I remember. I only watched it once in the cinema, and I'm a little bit embarrassed I got sucked into a lot of the hate for the film at the time, but I did have a couple little issues with The Last Jedi, and where I thought it was going to go. Um, like, what they did with Luke in this film really worked. I... Even though he, you know, died at the end of the last film, he was still in this film as a force ghost, and it really worked. And I don't feel like we lost anything. We got Lando, we got, we had Chewie, we had Leia as well. Um, we never got them all in one scene, true. We never got them all working together as a team. But that never really felt realistic to me. I didn't quite think that was going to happen at the start of the um, the new trilogy when when it was announced. I didn't really think in those terms, but um. I think that they started off just rebooting the original trilogy, and then, um, uh, what's his name, Ryan Johnson, took it in a total direction, but Abrams brought it back, they picked up most of the threads that he dropped, and they managed to pull it together. And I do wonder, a lot of people scoffed about bringing out the Emperor like it was some panic move or some desperation move, but... I'm thinking maybe they planned that the whole time, because I think Abrams had a basic idea for where they were going to go with the films when he sort of was working on the first film when he finished it. Even though they threw out George's original idea for um, the, the sequel trilogy, and they didn't really have a real plan, I think he at least had an idea or two. So I don't. I think maybe that's what they were planning to do the whole time. And it does make sense. Like, I mean, was I the only one when I was watching um, Jedi... Who, when you know, when he was thrown down that that shaft, was I not the only one thinking, why doesn't he just fly or stop himself? And when there's that explosion, I'm like, did he blow up or did he disappear? Was that him transporting himself somewhere? And that's apparently what he did. So it doesn't bother me that they went that way. It does feel right, so much as this whole you know trilogy was um, a reboot and reworking of the original film because they didn't really have the courage to try something original for um, this third trilogy. But um, it kind of made sense and didn't bother me. And I felt a lot of it worked out really well. And like I said, I was a bit embarrassed by how much I was sucked into a lot of the hatred. And some of it just didn't make any sense. Like, people were carrying on about the horses on the ship. I'm like, they're in the atmosphere. Why couldn't they do that? Um, you know, just a lot of stupid issues, stupid arguments. People were just making excuses to hate the, hate the movies. And I'm just really glad that I can enjoy them. I'm really glad that I watched the, this, you know, the trilogy. I enjoyed all the films. There are a couple little things here and there that you know were like, mm, but they bother me less now, um, and they bothered me less in the films, knowing where the films were going to go in the end and that. So, I mean, this film. I mean, you do have this giant army that appears out of nowhere because it's been being built, you know, by the emperor for like decades and that. And I'm like, well, what about the rest of the the, um, the the First Order or whatever? Where, like, did they destroy all of them? Like, I, I still, I'm still not sure. Did they fix everything? Is it all over with? But um, for the most part, yeah, they, they, they found this ultimate threat that had been there behind everything and destroyed that, and they really killed the Emperor this time. And um, Rey managed to, you know, get past... The attraction to the dark side, I guess she she managed to find herself and and you know become a Skywalker, and it, that's how the film ends. And and it works. The idea that she chose that side, and also the idea that things get better with each generation. Maybe in the past, you know, they weren't able to, um, but she did. And um, Kylo sacrificed himself. He went to the dark side, but he pulled himself back, and he you know saved her. And helped her save everyone else, so he redeemed himself. And maybe it'll be better for the next generation of Jedi, I don't know. But um, I enjoyed the film. There's just a lot more about it to like than hate. There's fun. There's, there's, there's that Star Wars spirit, that group of people, you know, on this adventure, you know, together trying to save each other and, and save, you know, the galaxy. It works. More so than the, pre the prequel series, I didn't feel that. There was a lot of land-bound bound stuff and it was all just about, you know, this one character becoming something and watching something fall and decline. But seeing it 
sort of fall again, but then be rescued and like the idea they learnt something and maybe, you know, they finally saved the universe, saved the galaxy, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I'm just glad I have these films to enjoy. I'm glad that I don't just have the three films. I do have six, maybe nine that I can enjoy. Oh, well, eight if you count um, Solo and Rogue One, which I did for the most part enjoy. Rogue's bit, Rogue One's a bit serious. Solo's a little bit, um, little bit um, anticlimactic, but for the most part it was fun. So I, know, I just enjoyed watching them all. This one was better than I remember. It's a good ending. It fits for this trilogy. And I just wish they could have had a bit, of, bit more of a consistent journey throughout the three films. And, and, you know, if they hadn't sort of gone all over the place, it might have been better received. But um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the film. What did you think of it then? What do you think of it now? I'm glad that I like it now.